to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. Man, now welcome to another excellent episode, man. So much to talk about, so much to get into today. We got a special guest in the building, man. I got two of my favorite people around me in this in this room right now. If you don't know, I'm your host, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, man. Here with my awesome co-host. Y'all know who it is. I call him up. Y'all know him as Hump. This is Ronald Bowen. What's going down, huh? Oh, nothing much, man. Just uh, ready to talk about these subs, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Glad to have this uh, young man in here that got me on me to introduce but I'm uh, glad to have him here talking about some of these things we're going to talk about. Yeah. It's a different perspective. As y'all know, Jay. And if y'all didn't know, man, special guest that I mentioned a second ago, my former manager, man, talk about the 1984 Texas Rangers Rookie of the Year right here. You know, former Pittsburgh Pirate, former Chicago Cub, former Kansas City Royal, you know, Texas Ranger legend. Curtis Wilkinson, what's going down, Kurt? Yes, peace. So, yeah, I've been trying to get in, get on you for the longest. Yeah, I know. I finally had a few days off where I can do it. So. Hey, I tricked you. I good tricked to you here. to come on yeah, through here, you know? Good to be here. Good to be here. No, I appreciate you joining us, man. We're going to have a good time today. Lots to talk about today, man. Lots to talk about. You know, starting with, you know, of course, we got special no, guests in the building. So, no, you know. No, no. First off, with was the first lady of L1, Miss C.Y. Yeah. She's not going to be here today. So we got a little different start. Last week and this week, I think she'll be back next week. Yeah. That's the first thing first. The first lady is not here. Yeah. Yeah. First lady. yeah, you're right. Hey, hey, oh, you keep me on point now. Oh, yeah. Because I get I get ahead of myself at times, okay? You know, you, you ain't know that about me, this. Oh, I'll do that. <laughs> That's the change, brother. That's the change. <laughs> hey, I am who I am, you know, and I appreciate it. it. I appreciate it, man. So... You know, when we have a guest on the show, we kind of like to dive in a little bit and just talk about, you know, what you been up to, man. And, you know, Kurt, Kurt was a baller, man. If anybody know, he is one of the smartest minds in the game of baseball to this day. Like my boy uh, Deontay Wilder to say, to this day. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. So what's been going down with you, Kurt? Uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still in baseball. I'm just doing a little high school now with yeah. at Fort Worth Christian. Yep. Uh, okay, I'm working with Rusty Greer. And that rate to work with, he's an outstanding guy to work with. Yeah. Very professional. Yeah, Rusty Grimm, man, that dude was an acrobatic outfielder. So, you know, he was telling me that he's coaching the infield and he's coaching the outfield. How did that work out? Well, if you played you know, infield and he played outfield. Right. He, he does the uh, infield, that does the outfield. The thing is, he had uh, camps uh -huh. where he's teaching infield. He does a great job. I gave him a compliment. I said, hey, Rusty, you know, if I was playing, man, I wish he was my infield instructor. Yeah, he, straight he's, up. He's good. He's good at stuff that I never. Just the details yeah, of the game. And, and little stuff. Just little stuff. He's real good. And I, mean, I do the outfield. I play the outfield a little bit. But as long as you've been in the game, you know yeah. how to adjust. Oh, yeah. You oh, can't yeah. adjust. If you can't adjust, forget it. Yeah. That's in anything. So so when you come to one of y'all one of y'all's games, you, we can expect to see the outfielders catching the ball with two hands and. No, 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 no. We teach, <laughs> we teach, what we teach out there is one hand. Yeah. Because you, you have a glove on one hand. You don't have a glove on both hands. Exactly. And when you go two hands, I'll stick. Yeah. You don't want use. So, no. You know, we teach, we teach a lot of the big leagues. Yeah. Big league, big league teaching, right? Yeah, that's what we do. Hey, that's, you know, I try to, I try to teach that to the kids at a young age. Yes. Like learn early, the right way. Not all this squash the bug, all these other yeah. things that can just destroy you for the rest of your life, man. Let's, let's learn, let's learn yeah, the right young, way. Young age, you want them to just catch the bug. Yeah, yeah. That's it's it, only man. one way. That's the right way. Right way. If you ain't doing it the right way, yeah, you're doing it the wrong way, right? Because right. they were right and wrong. That's it. That's it. So if you're doing it the right way, if you're doing it any other way, you're doing it the wrong way. Hey, yeah. I tell my kids, hey, you can do it right. Oh, you can do it wrong. It ain't no in between. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's, let's stay on the right side of things. You know? Let's stay on the right side of things. So speaking about teaching and, and you and Rusty Greer coaching now, you played with quite a few managers, you know, throughout your career. You know? You played with some heck of, hell of a players, including Barry Bonds and, 
you know, it's a long list of guys, George Brett and a lot of other guys you played with, you know, but speaking about the managers, you know, who who was your favorite manager that you played with and why? You know, it there's a, uh, it's kind of tough, but I got to look at myself and I was treated when I was a player. Yeah. Now I respect all the managers that I played for. Yeah. Because being honest, when I played, I didn't need a manager to dictate how I was gonna play. Yeah. But my dad taught me you play hard regardless. Yeah. So I didn't it didn't matter what kind of manager I played for. I just wanted managers to respect. You know, respect me. Yeah. So to answer that question, Hal McCray is one of the best managers that I played for. Yeah. And the reason for that was I was like at the end of my career. And no, I'm not saying the end of my career, but when I went over there, he kind of like turned me loose. Yeah. Because I played against him. Yeah. And he turned me loose, even though I was the backup, second base, and shortstop. But we had two rookies, shortstop, rookie, and second. So he trusted me to you know, teach him the right way and teach him how to play the game. And so I respect him. That's why I said he was probably my best match I played for him because he turned me loose and, and let me leave, you know, yeah. do my thing. And, uh, didn't nobody mess with me. Yeah. And, uh, and this was, I, I probably had seven, eight years in the league. Man. Yeah. And, and being, um, being, becoming a utility player, you know, it, it, I didn't play as much. Yeah. So then when I got over there, man, I was just coming in long. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, I was 30, 30, 30 years old then. Yeah. And by not playing early, it helped me. Yeah. So. Did I end up hurting, you know, ending my career by hurting my leg, but it is what it is, but that was my best guy. And you know, now you go back to Jim Leela, mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well deserved. God bless his soul, Don Zimmer. Mm -hmm. You know, played for him. And uh, I learned a lot from those guys. Yeah. Not disrespecting those guys that I said have a great best. I, I'm saying that because he, Play. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Took a so, lot of that. Yeah, because uh, baseball is a very mental game. And now, when you say and when you don't know why you're not out there on the field, like yeah. a lot of things can enter your mind. But but it was times I knew I wasn't gonna be out on the field because of Sandberg, Sean Johnson, yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. But then you have uh, you yeah, have like uh, when I was playing in here with the Rangers. First of all, when you said players that I played for, don't forget the Cubs. Yeah. Yeah. Sandberg, Greg Maddox, Dawson. Andre Dawson. Woo! That's one of the I greatest athletes guys. of all time. Those guys. Yes, so they all all favorite. Yeah. Now you know it's, it's kind of hard, but I respect all my managers, like I said. But it's an incident that happened when I was playing. I didn't. You know, managers gonna make their decision, but I didn't, yeah. Out of respect, when I look at it now, I'm sixty three. It still bothers me. Like for instance, but I'm not called the manager's name up when I went on to California play the Angels. I'm on the plane and there's a manager comes like tell me, Hey, get you rest, you gonna you gonna play the series, you're gonna star, get you rest. Okay. Get my rest, get to the ball from they blah they like. Okay. Next day, tells me, you starting tomorrow. Yeah. Right. And this is this is when you play with the Rangers? Yes. You said you're not gonna name no names. Anyway, so hold on now. It's hold on. So we talking about oh, what, what okay, years we okay, talking about? Okay, what years okay, we talking okay. about? Valentine was the manager then. Okay, okay. And so Bobby V. And I respect it, but I'm just saying, the older I've gotten, I, I, I think there's disrespect. Yeah. And I think if he was managing now, he would look like say he would do it over. Yeah. Because when you tell a young kid that you started, and then you get to the ballpark, and you're not in lineup. He'll go, manager's decision. I respect it. Yeah. But then he said, next day he said, well, you're definitely playing tomorrow. Yeah. And I get there a lot in there again. That's so, wild. So. That's a that's a very how, mental. Ask me, how, how you think I'm supposed to feel? That's messed you up. But but like I said earlier, managers don't dictate how I play. Yeah. And I don't understand why he said that. You know, I don't understand the it. The purpose I'm, behind. I, yeah, I'm not yeah. that type of guy. Oh, good going guy, play hard. 
So, I, you know, it, it puzzles me, but it is what it is. Yeah. So, I mean, that that definitely had to put a strain on a relationship. Yeah. You know, it, it did. Just that I just did my thing and you learn, you learn. Yeah. That's why you're here. Okay. Maybe he don't trust me. Maybe he don't like me. But I liked it him. Yeah. That's just my way I was grew up. Yeah. But I'm not gonna let you disrespect me. But but the thing is with me is my dad taught me. Be quiet and listen. Which I did. Yeah. So I don't I can't figure it out. It puzzles me, but you know what? It's on a speculation I, if you yeah. don't <laughs> me, but you know what? It it, it it just talking about it and uh, I just wanna know why. He did, but you know, anyway, he might have done it, but I know. Yeah. But I ain't say he will, but like I said, I, I respect him, Bobby and all that. So, but uh, I mean, Bobby was known to have a reputation to do that. Did you did you see him treating any of uh, your teammates that way? Yeah. Well, we had we've had some, <laughs> we've had some meetings. Yeah. And and uh, some of the meetings. Was well, like uh, you sitting in the clubhouse. Yeah. And the meeting went around the table. Yeah. Went around the table. Yeah. Asked every player, do you think I like you? He, this is Bobby. Yeah. Went to the next guy. Do you think I like you? Yeah. Some guys said yes. Some guys said whatever. So it was an issue. Yeah. And, and yeah, because why would you have a meeting? Asking yeah, the players, <laughs> yeah, what? do you think I like it? That's the last that's, thing I'm asking you to be me, worried about. The old guy, guy the, to me, I'm like, you can't run a club. I was like that. Yeah. So, so, Buddy Bell. Wow. Yep. Buddy Bell. Spoke his mind. Yep. So and so, everybody spoke their mind. When it got to me, right? Yeah. I'm hitting. Lead the team hit. Yeah. All I said was, you should. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm helping you sure. keep your job. I'm, I'm playing hard and, and doing stuff like that. But yeah, but you know, like I said, no disrespect to Bobby. It's just me getting stuff off my mind of wondering why that happened back then. Yeah, yeah. and, and this not is, a, I'm not telling no lie. I'm telling you. Yeah, well, you know, Bobby. It was. I was. I ain't never played baseball, <laughs> and I, I, I'm. You know. Now, when certain names, I mean, certain people in baseball, you got to go see them. Yeah. You know, you got to go watch. Must see TV. Dave Bonds, Pete Rose. But I'm going to say it like this. Silky Will. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bobby, by the time, even in the newspaper, with public opinion, had a kind of ugly history with his players. So, yeah. that's not just you. That's That was that was well known. I'm not even a baseball yeah. guy. And when me and him was talking about Bobby Bonds, by the time, that's one of the first things I said. I mean, they got an ugly history with the players and how they acted and all that. And this is one thing I want to say to you, uh, Curtis. Do, the, do Uncle Faith. Refer to yourself as non-confrontational, mm -hmm. low-key, but never refer to yourself as humble. Okay. Go look up the definition of humble. Okay. Humble means that you think less of yourself. That's really, go look it up. Wow, and uh, you think you're a pretty good baseball player, right? Yeah. When you ain't home. Yeah. I saw you, I saw D Rose day, the other day. Yeah, yeah. day, but I appreciate it because I never heard it. No, you 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 are non confrontational and you're low key, but you're not humble. Yeah, because I, you know this is this is a you know we'll talk about a lot of religion and all that stuff. All that, but the only person you be humble to is Jesus Christ. Oh, right. You ain't humble to me. Yeah, I'm to J A. Yeah, because you think you can beat me playing baseball, right? Yeah. You no, played, I, I know uh, I can. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. you. Know what I'm See, no, 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 give me that. No, that's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm that man. Say that. That, that's what I want to hear from you. Because I can't swing a lick. Yeah. yeah. If you humble, you'll be like, yeah, you might be good to me. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm I not bet you I've got one. Oh, 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 hey, give me some combat hey, boots. Hey, oh, I, told, I told him, I told him, I'm gonna get you in the Oh, he told me to go. No, 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 I'm very humble now. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 know. can, you can be me playing baseball. You can, <laughs> yeah, but one thing is that really, <laughs> hey, you got up some other chance, maybe in football. All that, but that run, I, I, I got to say, no. Yeah, I got to say, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. No, yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy because I was watching an interview with Derrick Rose the other day, right? One of the greatest athletes to ever come through 
the NBA, very explosive, MVP, incredible. And he was talking about how people say that he's very humble because he's so quiet. He was like, I'm not humble. He's like, I got more confidence than anybody in this room right now. I'm just quiet. I wasn't boisterous about it. Yeah. He said that he thought there was something wrong with him. He thought he had a problem because he was so quiet, but his confidence was so immense. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and, and it just came yeah. out in his came right on the court. Yeah, that's came it. came out of activity. It didn't come out. That's it. I ain't got to tell you, man. Yeah. But I love what you said. But, yeah, hum. but you know what? Uh, I, maybe I didn't know what home meant. Because, yeah, no, no, because, no, look it up. Look, look up. You I can Google it right now. And uh, I was just like. Now, That's what now, people always say. Yeah, and the way I was, you know, the way I was treated coming up for yeah. baseball, maybe yeah. they wanted to knock me down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when I say what well, I'm humble, it meaning I respect people and I don't think I'm better than nobody. But I'm killing you on this court. I'm, 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 meaning, because I'm playing in the major league, I don't look down on people. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. That has nothing to do with being humble. So because, that's what my yeah, thinking was. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. What, what you're saying is you're, you're totally right. Yeah. Just because yeah. you are led to NBA in scoring, yeah. you're no better than a homeless person. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's for real. Right. But yeah. this is the thing. That, that's, that's, that's being better. But you will never be in the MLB. The NFL, yeah, right, yeah. the NBA, yeah. the NCAA, yeah. the Olympics, 6A college, 6A Texas football, mm -hmm. if you're the humble, because you're gonna be thinking, these people are better than me. Absolutely. You know, we nobody's better than each other in life. But yeah. in sports, some can run faster than others, some can jump higher than others. So I mean, if you can jump higher than me, that means you're a better jumper. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. you, so, so but so, but for in some parts. Being humble as a oh. as a person. So miss me with that. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I look back. So I look back at my time playing. Yeah, I'm coming up, coming up in the Bible leagues and all that. And only thing I can get out of being real for me. Yeah, my opinion is I'm coming up playing shortstop. Yeah, here in Texas for the Rangers. I'm good, I'm good in the minor leagues for them. Yeah. But as soon as I get to the major leagues, something wrong. Yeah. To me, it seems, I look back now, it seems like they didn't want me to be the shortstop. Yeah, they didn't want I'm you to have a shot. I'm just saying. Not in Because you know who the shortstop yeah. typically is. I, I, I know, but I understand. But I look I look back now. Yeah. If I was in New York yeah. playing shortstop, yeah. I might have been a superstar. Yeah. Only yeah. because, and I'm telling the truth, only because. As soon as I got to the big league, they set me back. Mm -hmm. I'm in the big leagues though. Yeah, but yeah. they set me back. I hit well, triple A and triple A. I hit three twelve. Yeah, and triple A. Yeah, next step is major league. Yep, but I have different stats, different yeah. bad stats. Yeah, so I hit three twelve, two three twelve. Success. So my first couple of swings and batting practice. Yeah, they said, "Son, you can't hit like that in the big league." Gave me a big U one. Bat. Yep. So hit the ball left. Why not just swing? It's going left anyway. So I look back at that stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. Would I have done it in a different? No. And this was in the Rangers organization, because right? Any organization, whatever. Yeah. But this was the Rangers organization. I would have, uh, the way I was, I did anything they asked me to do because I'm in the big league. So Absolutely. Not, 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 you know, but. But my whole thing is. Why in, not leave me alone? Leave the key alone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's, all, that's the only regret I, I regret. This is how I am, Curtis. Maybe they had to reel you in a little bit because you all in totally Texas and they didn't want you to be the. Maybe they thought they couldn't sell tickets, right? Because the major leagues was if, in if, Texas. If they had, a, if they they was, had left me alone and gave me a chance, yeah. they would have sold some tickets. Yeah, no doubt. But they're still trying to grow the game yeah, back in, at that point that was, right here in Texas, I'm name. talking about for the Rangers. Yeah. And that's also a very uh, weird place in baseball because in the 70s, Baseball was 25% black, right? Yeah. And then between like late 70s to early 90s, there was a, a change going on, a shift going on mm -hmm. as to where now from going 25% late 80s or late 70s, early 80s, 25% black to now we what, 6% black? Like that transition was taking place during that time. Yeah. So they may not have wanted you to be the face. 
Well, you know what I'm like just in yeah, my yeah. and you know I'm outside looking so, in and so, I'm super young, but but I'm just saying so, like so I was young. Then. Yeah. So now I'm old, mm-hmm. sixty three. I just I'm just reflecting, looking back. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. know what I'm saying I didn't know no better. Yeah. You know then when that stuff was going on. Yeah. I don't know if they mean it at all, but now that I'm look back at it. Yeah. That's what was happening. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I don't want to knock nobody. It, it is what it is. So it was, it was done to me, so. Switching you know, gears a little bit. Yes, or, yes. Switching gears a little bit. <laughs> who was your favorite, or who do you feel was the best teammate you ever played with? And not, I'm not talking about, like, a great teammate, great locker room. I'm talking about the dude, when he hit them, when them cleats touched that dirt, he going off today. Man. Who was that dude? Man, I had a few. But. Oh, give me your top five. Okay. Number one, Andre Dawson. Yep. Two, the Hulk. Ain't that what they call him? Yes. Yep. Sandberg. Okay. Sandberg was like that? He was just a gamer or just? just yeah, yeah. Three, uh, Bonds. Bonds at three? Yeah. I'll give you a I'll tell you the reason, bro. Yeah. That's my opinion, bro. Yeah. Three. Um, So up between the top two? One is Dawson. He was number one out of everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need a pen and paper to write. So I'm trying down. to. No, I, no, I, I know, but I done played with some great guys. Who, who was two? You, you, you skipped two. You said Sandberg. Sandberg. No, you said he was. Sandberg. I thought he was four. No, oh, no. Sandberg two, balls three. I yeah. don't know what he said. Oh, oh man. Four yet? Okay, so four so, is one. I'm thinking about four, but. Man, I played with some great guys, man. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. So, I have to go with, man. I got it. Toby Harrell. I uh, see, I don't know this guy. Toby Harrell played second. For the Rangers? For the Rangers, yeah. yeah. Taught me and right. broke me in as a rookie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, he could swing it or what? Like, what was he this? Was, up a here, baseball up guy. Here, he was just a gotcha. guy. Toby, Toby Heron. Toby Heron. And the reason why I said Toby, I, you know, the guys that I'm <laughs> saying, talking about is guys that I respect. Mm-hmm. That, that did stuff for me as a kid coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Toby Heron broke me in. Yeah. He broke me in. And when I say he broke me in, he, he would take me out after off day. Hey, Wilkie, come on. Call me Little Dad. Yeah. Little Dad, come on. We'll go on Friday night. The off shot. Be in the house out on, on the lake of Fort Worth. He had a boat. We go out there. Jack that. Yeah. We hang out there, man. Man. And, uh, stuff like that. But he just took care of me. Put me on his wing. Yeah. And then you have uh, where Anthony in uh, New York playing the Yankees. My rookie year. Okay. So. Billy Martin was the manager. Yeah. Who was? Billy Martin. Billy Martin? So I was playing shortstop. The Yankee State. And suddenly we hit Bobby Leach. Bobby Meacham. Bobby Meacham was a rookie. Yeah. Hitting. Okay. Billy Martin, no Billy Martin. Yeah. Okay. So I come up to play. Hitting. Bill Collins was the pitcher. Okay. All of them big. So, so. On the bunk. Yeah, so. Real. Yeah. <laughs> First pitch, he threw it down on that fat. Hey, damn. He <laughs> He's not going hit me now. So, he, he know for that big curveball. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, curveball. What? He be right in the head. Uh, 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 with the fastball? Yeah. Ball uh, right uh, out, dug out. And I looked out there, I said, oh, the first base. Yeah. So, I got the first base. A little weird, you know. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, how how old was this guy throwing? Like mid ninety? He hit me in the head, so I'm yeah. like, oh. <laughs> and I'm a rookie, so so I so. Mean, it like miles yeah. Miles. <laughs> yeah. And so when I got the first, I'm like, I'm all right. They were looking at me. I'm like, oh, you ain't all right. Yeah. He took me out of the game. So Toby Harrell was hitting behind me. <laughs> so you can tell how Toby Harrell was. I said he takes care of it. He checks swing. Yeah. Ball rolls down first base line. Yeah. So Kyle comes pick it up. Oh, he can't. Chains him up. 
Yeah. Bogus no. Yes, sir. And he said, don't keep messing with our book. Yes, sir. Yeah. But, but he had problems the whole series. <laughs> they booed him, boy. Absolutely. You know, Trevor right. told me, he said, he played with him when they were one of the best friends. But that's that's back in the day, the game yeah. was like it is. Yeah. It's not, not Toby Harold, like I said, ain't no baseball guy. But there were certain guys that you never, that Toby Harold was known for, for like, uh, being a semi enforcer, yeah. taking up for his teammates. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, he was yeah. a rough house guy. You gotta guy. have him. Yeah. No, yeah. He, was, he, was a, he was a rough house guy. Boy, I know. He could run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and so, number five. Number five, yeah. yeah number five. five. Yeah, who you got? You still got to tell me why Andre is number one over Bay. Oh, yeah. That's number five. Number five, man, is uh, Ace Stewart. Ace Stewart. Stewart. They call him Stewie? Stewie. Stewie? Yeah. Hey, I know. You know, I was a rookie. From the Oakland Rangers? Yeah. yeah. But he pitched yeah. with the Rangers, too. The I didn't Rangers. realize that. No, I mean, but he came from the Oakland Rangers. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, 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 he started out with the Dodgers. I remember when Andre Dawson signed that contract. Yeah. For the Cubs. Mm -hmm. You know what he told them? Was it? He was a free agent. He told him, take the blank check. Pay me what y'all want to pay. Wow. He won the MVP that year. Wow. With a blank check. Are you serious? They got to pay him the next year. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 you know, a lot of people don't realize Andre Dawson was a three sport guy. He was a football, baseball, basketball yeah. guy. Yeah. Drafted in all three, wasn't he? No, no. I'm gonna break it down to you. Yeah, but but oh, I thought they were there. Oh, they were. That's what I'm thinking about. They were. I'm gonna bring that up. That's what I'm thinking about. They were. I'm sorry, yeah. That that dude, man. That dude played all on the ball. Oh my God! For how long? When when I played in Chicago for two years, so I was gonna say, take a day off. He just played. That's how he played. My gosh. Bone on bone? Professional, dude. Oh, my gosh. He's professional. That's crazy. And, uh, yeah, oh now, Dawson was just, he played hard. Yeah. He played different. Yeah. He played hard. Where'd the nickname Hawk come from? You know, look at him. Hawk the thing he, down he, or what? No, look at him. He, I know he's long and lanky. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. But, yeah, you know, we said the difference between Hawk. Buzz, Buzz had more talent. Yeah, but me, it's when I say I respect my elders. Yeah, but anytime a man say filling the check, yeah, that means he's confident he gonna get it done. He ain't humble. Now, now, Bird. <laughs> one thing with Bird, I love Bird. I love Bird. Yeah, Bird just likes to run his mouth, but we know that's Bird. Yeah. We didn't when I played with Pirate, we didn't pay Barry no man. Yeah, well he wasn't running his mouth like that though, was he? He no, wasn't no. like me on running his mouth. He just didn't no, want to no, mess no. with Barry, Barry, Barry. Now Barry was parky. Yeah. But but he backed it up though. Yeah. But but I said, I played short that one game. Now look. Barry standing ten feet from behind me in left field. Yeah. And Eric Davis hit him. He said, what, what are you doing, he bro? Went Barry. Back, Back up. up. He said, you play shortstop. <laughs> Eric Davis hit that ball. Yeah. 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 So Eric Davis. Very Because he was in the right position. Yeah. Yeah. Was Eric? Was he lefty or right? Eric Davis. I'm, I'm trying. To, yeah. I, I know Eric Davis. He was right, though, wasn't he? Yeah. And he was playing ten feet he behind you. Right behind me. I'm like. Up, dude. Oh, so he had the scout on. He knew where he, he liked to hit that no, route. No, no, no. Boy, Barry was playing. You could have bagged up, man. Yeah. But he hit the ball right to him, though. No, he hit right to him. He hit over his head. Oh, shit. <laughs> Barry went back. No, like Barry went right back. Barry went like that. And Fulton Jimmy said, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was, he was baiting him. Yeah. Yeah, he was baiting him. See, that's, people don't realize that's, that go down in baseball game, like that. It's a game, too. Trying to mess up hitters. Yeah. So, you right hand hitter facing a right handed pitcher. You see me playing in. I'm trying to oh, pull trying everything to over pull your head. Thing. Absolutely. No, the pitcher going to throw this up. Outside. Yes, so sir. It's a Hook barrel. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Okay, see, that's, yeah. that's a part of the game I love in baseball. Yeah. A lot of people don't think about is that mental side, man. Yeah. 
See how y'all so, people out there? Yeah. That's baseball talk to law song. Yeah. Uncle ain't no hill. He gonna miss everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So, I'm just to so yeah. yeah. No, you know, I'm just, so no, I got, if I'm the biggest throw that outside yeah. and, and, and yeah. you're trying to pull it, good yeah. eyes on, you're gonna hit it off the end of the bat yeah. and it's gonna yeah. be a little problem. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. I know all that. So, I'm gonna go yeah. like this, if y'all don't mind. So, watching the playoffs this year, which I haven't watched. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, hey, that's a problem, MLB. Reason, reason you, got, because, you got two baseball dudes up here, and we are not watching the well, playoffs well, this year. And it's, it's talented too, but but let, let me tell you, explain why. So I lost my dad, the real kid. Yep, and this is the first year I'm not watching. He, he always called me during the playoffs. Like, well, you know, you know, we moved him out here. Yeah, and so he'll call me. Hey, uh. What do you think about that move? Yeah. So I missed that. Yeah. yeah. And then he got sick right before the World Series. Yeah. yeah. Boom. All I did, don't mean I won't. But I whispered in the ear, he just won. Yeah. But he yeah. Yeah, man. That's so oh, I'm sorry, but yeah, I had to get that off. Yeah, no, that's that. And I want to say this right here. I'm going to cut everybody off right now. Talk about your dad, man. I'm going to tell you like this. This is what I tell you. All, I ain't finna go down there like, I, I tell all young men, especially young men that look like us. Yeah. You ain't got no hero in your household, you're looking at the wrong place for your hero. Yeah. Cause this man right here, I ain't never met, this my first day meeting him. Yeah. But you know what I know about you? Who your hero is? Your daddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, you your daddy. Deep. You wanna get deep? Yeah. I'm gonna get deep now. So I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling yeah, from, 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 from what I observe. I've been good. knowing you since about ten o'clock yeah. this morning, <laughs> and I know that your daddy is your hero. You didn't have to, you didn't have to look at TV. Yeah, right. That's all I'm saying. That's you didn't have to look at TV. You didn't look at the baseball yeah. field. Yeah. You didn't have to look at the football field. Asshole. You had to look across the room. Yeah, you see a hero. Hey, I know. Yeah, yeah. Not go ahead. All about this, but let me tell y'all something. My dad could have played. Baseball. Yeah. Baseball. But I was the wrong time. Wrong time. Wrong time. 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 He had a good job, but back then he was scared to leave. Yeah. And so so he yeah. played in yeah, this Yeah, take little, care of his family. Yeah, he played in this little semi league in mm -hmm. Virginia. Man. Then with it. Then with it. But let me he just played for the Giants? Then with DC Giants. Yeah. He, they, started that. they started that. Oh, so he was the first on the yeah, first season. That's crazy. That. And so let me tell you. That's crazy. My dad was on the 19th. Yeah, oh, so that's you a family thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Dude's one twenty-four right now. Right, but look, you understand it? Well, number nineteen. So, so I saw you were nineteen. I saw, so, I saw so, so, Brandon were nineteen. When I got drafted by the Rangers. Yeah. Okay. But then when I made it to the major leagues, they didn't know nothing about my dad. When I got to major league, they had me number nineteen. Wow. You know what? They didn't. They didn't know. No, they didn't know about my dad. Wow. Hey, right. we call that divine intervention. Yeah, and I was like, that's all I take that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say it like this here. If your dad would have never played baseball, if he would have been a sharecropper, he would have been your hero. Yeah. Because guess what? Yeah. He would have been the best sharecropper you yeah. ever seen. Yeah, absolutely. And he would have been man. committed to being yeah. good at but, what he but do. I, I feel like excellence, man, is what we call that. that is it's just part of my life. Oh, yeah. You have to share because it's this time of your playoff. Yeah. 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 And, it, and it, hit. it hit right now because this yeah. is, it, it's like uh, just random things like me and my pops. Yeah. Like I, and I'm telling y'all something that happened yesterday. I broke down in front of my five-year-old son on accident from him just looking at a picture of yeah. my pops. Looking at all the pictures on the wall right here. I pass by these pictures every yeah. day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the fact that he just focused in, locked in on it, and said P is what he called my dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking. I lost it on accident. I didn't even know it was in there oh, to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because my pops yeah. was my hero. Yeah. My pops was my. He had my back. He was my gangster. He was my president. He was my everything. You know what I'm saying? And I said to myself, I said lot. The last night, I'm gonna rehearse it, but I'm gonna say, yeah. And I was like, hey, you know what? Go with the flow, but I said, I'm gonna go bring that for my dad. But I feel like playoff time, that's a tribute to my dad. Yeah, man. That's all. That's all, Fox. Hey, hey, you raised one 
Yeah. Heck of a man. And he's the yeah. Dodger fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jackie. Jackie. You know what? That's why. Jackie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, so when I had my Audi, I just, that's when I still had a DVD, CD player on my car. They don't put them in cars no more. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, no. Man, I had 42 in that thing. Yeah. Like, I had 42 in that concert. So every time I came to a stop, it popped on. Like, I knew that movie front and back. Yeah. I love Jackie Robinson, man, to this day. To this day, even though I think that's one of the most tragic things to happen to yeah. the black economy. You know, with you losing know, the of, uh, Negro League baseball. That's, that's yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Buck O'Neill. Mm-hmm. I did as well. But I think you had more of a company. Neil was a scout for the Royals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what made me mad? How they inducted him to the Hall of Fame. He, he lived in what, 90, 92? 94, something like that? Yes, yeah. And they inducted him in the Hall of Fame after he passed away. I'm like, bro. He lived 90 years. 90 yeah, years. it's like, bro. I mean, like He has a lot to do with that. That home, the that, uh, Museum. Kansas City Hall of uh, yeah. Yeah. Museum? Yeah, man. And Negro League Hall of Fame. Well, a, lot, a lot of people don't know this. Yeah, when when they, when he was a scout, maybe I was supposed to say this. Royce, he came to me. He said, "Start this thing." Yeah, but I donated the troops out. Jose Lee donated four. Yeah, Hugo Brooks donated four thousand. David Cole, I think, donated six. I can't believe you ain't named him as one of your favorite teammates. That dude's now, a good now, dude. Now, 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 now we're talking about. Yeah. yeah, no, he was one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a good. He number six. I've heard some other like five, five, eight. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, oh, man. man. But that's now, crazy. I, I, you want me to? See, I'm gonna shut up after this. I got to tell you a story. Yeah, I love stories. Uh, story time, y'all. Blue uh, scotch. Yeah, with the with the handlebar. Yeah, yeah. Blue yeah. Blue Blue yeah. Oh, he had the he had the mustache. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was probably the thing. Oh, Goose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to eat, so I was right. He had Goose, to have yeah, yeah. Goose Gossip. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but Goose yeah. Gossip is a profession. Yeah. Most of them was back then. So I'm, I'm in spring training with the Cubs. And when you're facing a veteran, BP against the pitchers. Yep. He had the L screen. He said in his career, but, you know, Goose just throws the ass bump. Up here, now he won't pop. He forgot to get behind the screen. Hit it right here, right in the side. Yeah. Next five pitches I ain't seen. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, he, that said, boy oh blacked God. out. Yeah. Forgot his BP. I said, oh my God. And then, <laughs> got in the clubhouse, he said, hit, don't forget. Yeah. Right? He said, I don't forget. Yeah. So, he got released in spring training by the club, and the Jack side. Mm hmm. San Francisco. Mm. So, so, you gonna say, I come up. Uh, I'm saying, we need you to pinch it. Echo Goose on him now. Oh. You know what he did? Pitch. Oh, no, he said, forget. Yeah. <laughs> y'all didn't see me? Y'all didn't see me? He said, don't forget. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, the eyes got big. Ooh, he's going to hit me. Yeah. He told me first to slide. Slide out. I slide out to <laughs> first base. He color first. Whoop, he said, kid, I'm going to hit you. I said, you planted that seed. <laughs> yeah. hey. That's a little scary. Hey, you know that slider. Hey. It's coming hey. right at you. Hey. break in. He wasn't going to hit you because you brought him out. <laughs> if you would have you went to three and two, he would have hit you. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, you, know, well, you know, it depends on the count. Yeah. And he, yeah, had, he, had, he had that booty going all out of the box. That's He's what like, oh. he was going to he, he said, <laughs> yeah. I, I read his lips in the box. I said, he said, he did like he said. And I'm like, what? Yeah. I said, oh, he could have hit me. <laughs> he planted that seed, man. Yeah, yeah that's messed that's, up. That's, uh, that's that mental side of the game. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't realize and know what's going yeah. on. And, you know? And he tapped into it, though. Yeah, that's yeah, great, that man. That's awesome. Hey, Kerry, man, I definitely appreciate these stories, bro. Like, I can go all day on just the stories. You know what I'm saying? I can go all day on them, because that's a lot of fun, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of insight that a lot of people don't get. A lot of things yeah. going on in those nine innings on that diamond that people don't realize are, are happening. That says sports period to casual yeah. fan. Oh, they should have did this. Ooh, I'll be yeah. like, oh, man, how do you know yeah. what, what the, you know. Yeah, I know what you're saying, because, you know. Yeah, they don't know what's our process of it, right, right. in any sport of it, yeah. uh, I'm not going to say manager, I'm going to say coach. Yeah. Nobody don't know the thought process of the coach, what they had planned to do, 
what alignment they was in. Yeah. And then they all talk about what they should have did this and they should have did so that. So if you, if you, if you, first of all, you're a good coach, manager, whatever. I know I'm talking about baseball. If yeah. You have to adjust. Yeah. Is there a respect? Yeah. And, and every athlete, hey, the ones that are especially adjust baseball, quickest. especially baseball, you have to adjust. Yep. You don't adjust, they don't adjust, and I, I'm big on baseball savvy. You ain't got it up here. Yeah. 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 You just ain't you. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. That's, but that's any, anything. Yeah, you got to have insight. Hey, if you play a quarterback and you don't know that holler, and you don't know. <laughs> man, I'm telling you. Yeah, you don't know if y'all. What defense y'all really supposed to be right, in? Right. Or are you supposed to be in cover two or zone? Are yeah. you supposed to be in man to man? Yeah. And then, then you and then you come up and you line up and you play the uh, Julian Edelman the same way you do random balls, you finna get it. Yeah. I mean you gotta yeah, adjust yeah. on the fly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Every the sport. ones that adjust the saying. quickest. And that's what I tell. Sports are the, are the best. Sports are yeah. if you are not good at Split second decisions, you yes, would sir. not be good in sports. Hey, I mean, you would not. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like you know, because when they hit the ball, yeah, and you, yeah, play, yeah. you play several plays, right? <laughs> hey, no, we ain't telling that. Oh, it's coming up. <laughs> so, we ain't so, telling that. It's coming up. Yeah. But, uh, hey, I made areas in life. Uh, it's coming but up. But I also did some great things. It's coming up. I did more great things but than areas. You know what I'm saying? But my areas were bonehead. First of all, I want to, I want to, Kurt was my manager. He was my last manager, man, when I played ball. When I got drafted by the Rangers, they yeah. the Rangers, and the scout was Joe Brazell. We get it. A tribute to them. Thank you for drafting me, and I appreciate you guys doing whatever you did. But now, you know, by me coaching yeah. and playing, I ended up being a coach. Yeah. And I coached this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo-wee. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what you think about it? I remember when you told me, if I got you two years earlier, you've been in the league, right? You've been, been in the league. But, yeah. but it was, we, it was two we, years later. <laughs> we throw it out. You know, when you throw a batting practice, you throw, bam, and get ready. Jay, I throw a pitch to Jay, then he'll get back in. I, I'm locked in. I need to reset. Like, Jay, this is not a game. Yeah. I'm trying to throw. But <laughs> I got to reset. I'm taking my time. I'm like, no. Nah, Kurt's like, man, let's get it, bro. Just batting practice. Bad practice. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah. Oh, but I'm, I'm trying to get, you, you know, get, you know but, mindset. Yeah, you're trying to get your no, my man, mental right. Like the game. Exactly. No, not, when, not when we got another group ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what he, no, I'm talking about what he's trying to do. I ain't worried about them. I ain't worried about them. I ain't worried about them. <laughs> See, and then one, one, game, work. one game, right? Yeah, I never get this. He, he, come up in, he come up in the clubhouse. He had a cowboy jersey on. I think I'd have told y'all about this before. He had a cowboy jersey on. I said, I'm going to come back. I said, Jay, I'm sorry. Redskins at the time. Yeah, Redskins. I said, I'm sorry. You won't play today? Yeah. Remember I, I told you the I story? Said, you come in here with the cowboy stuff on anytime you ain't playing. I had a Julius Jones jersey on. He didn't play. Hey, I walk up to the park, crunk, got my Julius Jones jersey on, ready to play on Sunday. You know, hey, Kurt say, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't playing today, big dog. I was like, ah. Oh. I did that in front. Yeah, I yeah. did that in front. Yeah, I needed, I needed a rest that day, but yeah, I did that. I didn't wear that jersey no more, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to come up with another reason not to play with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got a couple. Oh, hey, you got a couple. Oh, right. Look, cu- oh, a couple stories. Yeah, let's go and keep it moving. Yeah, we got some stories. Yeah, yeah, want to move it on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you about one of them when we get off. Oh, we've been talking about this. Hey, yeah. Hey, let me let me tell our people this. Say all the subjects we gotta talk to you. Hey, we gonna, gonna skip through some of them. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk to you quick. Yeah. But we ain't gonna talk to you slick. Nah, we ain't gonna talk to you slick. We're gonna talk, we gonna quick, talk to you slick. Cause we already been here about an hour almost. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. yeah hey, and that's what this show is about, man. Hey, I, I, I love to talk to Kirk, hear the stories that he got. Yeah, you man, know, I love man. it. I'm, I can I, I, I can do this all day long. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoying long. the show. And if you haven't, man, hey, go and shoot, shoot over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, man. You know, share the show, man, all that good stuff. We, uh, 
We learned a lesson this week, okay? We had the, had the we, game planners behind us. And we kind of knew the lesson before we left. Yeah, we kind of knew it a little bit, but, you know, but we got no strikes. Right. I knew things by the book. So we took our first strike and we learned a lesson. Don't play national televised games on your live stream. That's just Even what it if is. it's free. Even if it's free. Even so, if it's on CBS for free. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, we played the live game, yeah. game. So we got a strike. So we can't be on YouTube live for, until, until Sunday. Sunday. But, but we'll be back. Yeah. yeah but we're on Facebook. We're on Twitch. And we can take this and I can post it back on uh, yeah. as a video. As you a know? video, so but get, not live. So now I get to edit out all the bull corn that we went through. And they won't ever all see that, that stuff. All that and out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So... Uh, so it's all good, but we learned. But Facebook, y'all getting it, man. Y'all yeah. getting the full Twitch, holy field, Facebook, the whole deal. Whoever else we own right now, whatever other social media platform yeah. we own, besides YouTube, we own now, but we're not on YouTube, but that's okay. Yeah. But, you know, you got to, you know, I'm going to learn some good lessons in life, okay. but uh, but the only way, hey, you know, all folks got to say, the best Lessons that you learn is the ones you pay for for yourself. Absolutely. If somebody Absolutely. else got to pay the cost for your lessons, it won't be no good lesson for you. Ain't no losses. It's yeah. only lessons hey, around man, here. I'm being honest. I, um, oh, bless me. Well, I understand. That, that humble? That humble. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah, I, know, but I, broke, I think I broke it down to how what I thought it was, but it's, it's yeah. all good, but now I'm looking at different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely man. Yeah. So that's that's what, and so hopefully, whoever out there watching, that's what you got. Somebody that too. Say, man, I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah. I learned a lot from you today, man. You yeah. say, man, I'm gonna tell you like this. Yeah. Then yeah. when it, then when it finds right here, baby, the finest. You know, finesse man. Uh, you know what? Right. I ain't humble no more. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they were the fine. No, it's this whole thing. You yeah, never yeah. walked. You, you never walked. You just yeah. thought you would. Yeah. You, you didn't really understand the concept of that. So, so, no. And, and so we still don't and I know. So what I'm trying to figure out is six to three. Well, why did I kept what we talked about in so much? Because I ain't want to hurt nobody. You protected yeah. people, man. Yeah. Well, but and now I look back at it, and then when you said home, but I'm looking back at it now. I'm glad I did it. Not trying to hurt nobody. Yeah. No, you it's just, just that you, you hurt me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so exactly. I mean, well, then, whoever, whoever looking at this. And then it's not something. hurt for her. Yeah. It's Ooh, just sure. that these are the facts, and this is how it affected so, so, me. So, so, yeah. Yeah. And, and then if you hurt, by so, how you affected me, that's your problem. Yeah, exactly. The same way when you hurt me, yeah, it I was know, my problem. I said exactly. it affected me. Yeah. yeah. But now you imagine, can you imagine this? If back then you've been living with that for a long time. time. Social yeah. media and then told a different story. Yeah. Oh yeah. He media. couldn't yeah, back then. First absolutely. Off, he couldn't have acted like he acted. He couldn't have done the things that he did. If social media was like it was now, mm -hmm. I mean, man, you know, sports would be very weak if social yeah. media was the way it was oh, now back then. You know what? And, yeah, I told this guy. He was. We were talking, and he, he said, "He said, man, now that uh, social media is alive, he said, when these kids do something, the whole world know." Yeah, I said, "Say, man, let me tell you something. When I was twelve years old, and I did something." And they talked about it because I'm from East Dallas. Yeah. And, and I did something. They talked about it in East Dallas. Then East Dallas wasn't my world. Yeah. I didn't know. I mean, all that other stuff that I know now that had no effect on me. Yeah. So when the people around you see this thing, people on the computer talking about people now, yep. and they feel it's hurt. Yep. But when they walk around and they walk right past you and say. Man, Curtis can't play no baseball. I'm better than Curtis. Yeah, ain't man. that what they used to say? Oh, yeah. No, man. ain't that what they used but to they say? Ain't in the league. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay and no matter how fast I ran or who I did, oh, Rod ain't fast. He's slow. Well, so is it going to hurt me more for somebody to type it on the computer or say it to my face? Man. Because everything they said back in the day was to your face. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it made you better. Yeah, it made you better. Because every time somebody said, oh, Curtis can't play no baseball, I'm better than Curtis. Guess what Curtis did? Curtis would say, no, you ain't. And it's mine. I'm yeah. not saying it with his mouth. See, the difference between me and you is just that Curtis, you say it in your mind. I say it with my mouth. Right. You, and, and, oh, raw, and, slow. So. No, you ain't. Come raise raw. And, and I'm going to tell you what I started doing, Curtis, at about 11 years old. If you sound slow, I bet I got 50 cents. Come find, find out. I got two quarters. Yeah. You know, back in the day, 50 cents. 
Man, I need to find out. I get 50 pieces of cat. <laughs> no, two for a penny, you get 100 pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, no, don't let on you, because I was in the two for the penny. Yeah. No, but don't just say You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah because see, when I played, after the game, you had the reporters come at me right there. Yeah. 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 Right there. Reporters, you know. Now, it's. And then now, and then, and guess what, back in the day, before they write it all down, guess what they're going to put it in the local newspaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, what you rate They put it in the Dallas one News mm -hmm. and the Times of Yeah. Curtis went for one for four. Yeah. That's not a good thing. Yeah. Now, that's in the newspaper. Yeah, yeah. Now, even though it was just in the newspaper, that was your world. Yeah. Everybody, you thought everybody yeah. in the world knew that about Curtis. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm trying to tell them, y'all think that. Internet is our world, but whatever we live was our world too. Yeah, absolutely. So it was very hurtful, but there was somebody said something because everybody, everywhere you went in Dallas forward, or whatever you did on, yeah. the, on the baseball field, it, it was on there. there. And we used out the dealer. I said, man, that's crazy over there, man. Can't wait, well, for folk. All that. Yeah. Why you out to dealer with your family or whatever? Right. You know, you try to mind your own business. You yeah. drive, to, you drive down the freeway. People on the side of you, whoa, 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 all this yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. So, Anyone like that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Now, hey. now, 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 I'm alive. No, you know. Hey, that's why okay. LeBron is such a unicorn. Man, yes. because he's been able to keep it quiet in this era of social media. Do you know why Straight LeBron up. keep it quiet? Because he never responds. Never, never you don't respond. say what? Because if you, the more, Jay, if I say something over you, you say something over back to me, I say, we'll be going all day saying something back and forth. Back and forth, yeah. But then if I say something over you, and you don't say nothing, the conversation over. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Ain't nothing else to talk about. But then now if I say something else, I'm looking stupid. It's yeah. on me now. Ain't nothing else to talk you know, about. And, and everything everybody said by LeBron, LeBron don't say nothing. Yeah. Right. Crazy, man. Think about it. Once a day, he don't even respond. And guess what? In two weeks, they ain't talking about it no more. And then people but now, if he trying to say something, they say something, it's talking about it over six, eight weeks. All the bros are, and then now people start saying, well, it must be true. He keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. So yes. this is newness. So it looks like I'm going to have to take this over, guys. Yeah. So now. Yeah. Go ahead, Trevor. Yeah. We're going to go back one more time. Hey, we, we're going to switch up the whole show no, today. No, we're going to go back. We're doing this. We're going to switch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. 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 On the streets, we're going to go back. Yeah. To what that kid, or Tony? Or yeah. What's he doing? Shohei Otani. He's, to me, he's great. Hey, Auntie Pam. He's great. I'm Jay. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Oh, oh, thank you. You know, I'm going to eat them all, too. Okay. <laughs> I might share. I might share with them. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh, Tony, man. Yeah. I was joking with you earlier. Yeah. Just joking. Yeah. I said, oh, Tony. He was. I said, what he's doing, I did it before. Yeah. But in high school. Yeah. Not at the level he doing. He, he treated like high school up there. No, but. He's a great player. But Absolutely. now, now. Pete Rose, you though. Think, no, okay, let's stay on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go back, you know, Dave Whitfield pitched. Yeah. Oh. He was a pitcher. I didn't know that. Yeah. And, and, they football in the MLB. But when you look at, could he have done it? Yeah. Possibly. But remember I told you earlier? I said, it. What these kids are doing now, these major league players, they are totally different. Yeah. Because you're going to see in the show, Six Million Dollar Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be That's, they play like that now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These players now, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what Otani's so, doing is. Could you take. Could you take. It's not. Uh, I, everybody, all the kids. Yeah. Majority of the time growing see, up, the best pitch on the team was think. also probably this one of the, the best pitch on the team. This is the whole thing that I think uh, is that. But not at that level. This nowadays. When you have a talent, well, I'm gonna say it like this right now. Talent is meeting the opportunity. Yeah. Before, the talent would never get the opportunity. Yeah. But right now, the, the talent has the opportunity. Travis Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, he has that. You know, and Travis Hunter is another version of Otani. Uh, 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 yeah, and he can see, do, 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 people, do it all. People think that when I say stuff like, you know, Travis Hunter, even Jimmy J, sometimes when I say, He's just getting the opportunity. He think I'm knocking traps on him. I'm not. Yeah. All I'm saying is that you you gonna tell me 
that Dave Winfield got drafted in three, three sports. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Baseball, football, and basketball. And you said, like you said, he was a pitcher on a lower level. Yeah. If he would have got the opportunity, I'm not sure. I, he I couldn't be know. on signing. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. He could be. He, Dave Winfield was bad. Yeah, that's you what know, I'm saying. Yeah, but we're not see, sure if he could or couldn't be. And I'm not. I'm happy for what's going on time. now with these players. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, we went on three strikes. Have they been on it? And we went on three strikes for them to. The rest of it is now, yeah. So well, I'm not mad at these players making the money. Make it. Yeah. But you know what? Dave Winfield. You Except for Dak. Mabel, Dave, imagine Dave Winfield. Yeah, Dak. Hey, man, I ain't mad at you, Dak. Oh, yeah. I need some production. Imagine Dave Winfield playing now and all the stuff that they have. Technology. Yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna throw them. So, you, so, so, so you the ring, ring the bell. We're gonna do the ring the bell. We did yeah. a ring the bell on, uh, no, we're gonna do the ring bullet, bell. on Bullet, on Bullet Bob Hayes last week. Woo! The boy ran a, a, a 9 9 on dirt. Yeah. In lane one, well, yeah. In lane one. Bob Hayes. After the 10,000 meter walk, uh, after the 10,000 10, meter run. 5,000 okay, feet. He ran a 9-9 nine, nine on and dirt. I'm going to throw this on you, Curtis. So now, I don't know man. if you know this or not. And an 8-7 eight, eight, you, do you in know the relay. About, do you know about the uh, rifleman, Chuck Hunter? Chuck Hunter. I watch it every day, brother. How about your heavy? He played three. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm no, 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 no. He got Did drafted he? in three. Yeah, yeah. He played for the Boston Celtics. And, 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 and he played for the Cubs. First day. Chuck Connery. Chuck Connery. That's where that confidence hold on, hold on, came hold on, from. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you. I'm trying to count how many times you shoot. Yeah. Say, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you like this. We go all the way, man. Say, man. Hey, I ain't got one. I love it. I bought this. I bought this lever action gun because yeah. I'm also a, a gun guy. Yeah. And I start to drill a hole in it. So you know the running back got to screw this gun. Oh, yeah. And, and every time he coming back, shoot. it should hit the trigger. That's why he shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. See, but you ain't no malfunction in years, though. No, oh. but you know what? When I bought it, <laughs> it didn't have the, it didn't have the metal. It had the, uh, what's this? Glass thing? Like, they call it a uh, polymer. I okay. had the polymer level, yeah. and I was scared that if I drill it there, that the screw may break it. Yeah. But I'm just saying, yo, yo, yeah, the rock man was a three sport hey, guy. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know this. Yeah. You know I didn't know that? No. Hey. Chuck Hurst? No, yeah, I didn't I know mean, that. and he played two yeah. professional sports, yeah. and the only reason he didn't continue with war, there was more money on rifle man than it was yeah. on sports. And, and look, and we, we just about to trash everything we was going to discuss. We're going to bring back Jim Brown next week. No, I mean, not nah, this uh, 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 we, this, this yeah. a big yeah. Jim Brown. Yeah, yeah, this can, we can do this at the end. But, yeah. but as long as we my talk favorite, about My favorite yeah. rifle man. Yeah? Chuck Clark. Hey, oh, I'm watching hey, that. That's that, that's that them when it coming up on you right there, yeah, man. man. I don't like even know you was messing with a rifle man like that watching the Western. Man, you better watch it. Hey, man. This is my show. Say, I'm saying like this. Today, this is a show. I hope y'all appreciate what's going on. Man, we're going on a different road. Yeah. We got Curtis here, man. Uh, Former professional baseball player. Hey, he's still a professional baseball player. You know? We're tired of professional baseball players. See, this is the whole thing, yeah. Because I tell people all the time whatever you was, you you still there. Yeah. Because yeah. this is the thing that they teach you in the uh, three step. I'm in the step program here. Yeah, it's like you know for the for the recovery people. <laughs> the step. You are never recovered. You are always who you are. You are who you are. He and is who we thought he and was. If, and if you forget yeah. that, you are not. You you relapse. Yeah. yeah. So so therefore you know. Even though you are as you have to be right, you are retired. Yeah, baseball player. You are always, you are always be a professional. Yes, sir. Baseball player. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can sleep in. Yeah, you can still, you can still have that baseball schedule. Hey, ten o'clock, I'm over. I think so. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Baseball Bros Podcast. That's what this platform is for, Curtis. You taught me something. You understand? I'm going back to that humble thing. No, that, yeah, that's what this whole thing no, is it, for, man. Yeah, we we yeah, want yeah, locker room yeah, conversation, because, comfortable environment. Oh yeah, where you can come and be and open up. Because I'm gonna tell you and let the people know, hey, we here, man. Because I'm gonna tell you, what and we doing man, well. What this is what's man going on? Taught me about a couple years ago. This young man, we were <laughs> on another podcast. Yeah, and uh, he said, he said that. He said, you know, I want to tell y'all one thing about 
people how the how the world lives. Yeah. You see, to the world you are one person. Yeah. But to one person you might be the world. You might be the world. So you might know, be the world. So that, so that thing world. that all the time when you're doing something, you think ain't nobody looking. Somebody I always see you. Absolutely. And it man. might be the person that you influence the most. So and, you got to be careful and, and, what you do. Yeah. That's in why, life. That's yeah. Why yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, that's why I, when, if I go speak to some kids, yeah. I'm going to speak. I don't care. If 20 kids. Yeah. One of them get it. Yeah, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Well, yeah. hey, because, Absolutely. Because guess what? With that one Man. that you reach, if they can go reach one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that one they reach can, can go reach one. Look how far that's going to go. Yeah. And that call starts with you. Mm-hmm. Teach one, reach one. See, yeah. I, if I had to do a lot of stuff over, yeah. I had say, but if I had to do stuff over, I would. Yeah. Do it all the same, Curtis. I would, yeah, but do it all the bit, same. A little bit different. What, what would you I do mean, different? A little bit different. I would, I would, like I said, if I can take one kid, and I know I got him, put him into me. Yeah, my sister. Yeah, then I'm gonna teach him go do what I did. Bring him down with me. Yeah, just say. Yeah, yeah. And then we can grow. Yeah, I don't care if it's white, black, yeah. Puerto Rican, whatever. Yeah, bring him in. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I've seen you, man. Yeah. The, the kid, the kid, the he first said, kid I saw you. He seen me, but he. When I go back, I'm one. I'm one. Home, look, I go back to my humble stuff. Now you taught me. Oh yeah. Don't be humble. Curtis is my Hal McCray. Right. Yeah. Straight up. Hey, I, I'm gonna tell you this too, right look, now. Uh, man, I I, I had I'm a decision. Hal McCray. I could have gone to Southern University. I almost went to Southern University because I was tired. And if y'all know what I'm talking about, I was tired. Yeah. I was exhausted, and I, I was this close to going to Southern University, and then I got. Talked in, I was about to say hoaxed, but I got talked into going to another school because my I had two of my best friends yeah. that I grew up with playing ball yeah, with them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I almost went to Southern, and I, I still like to this day I wish I would have gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't. I always had to overcome something. So yeah. there was an element that always came into play outside of my play. Yeah, outside of your ability that your factored ability. Oh, into yeah. my play I, I, from that point of view. And when I got to Curtis, yeah, yeah. Curtis let me go. See, he let me Jay, play. When I met Jay, I said, this kid, no, no, no. no. He cut Willie Mo Pena's brother. I said, I said, this kid, don't don't get it wrong. I said, he's lost. He don't know what he want to do yet. I said, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I care about it. I said, he's got talent. I said, let's go play. Yeah. Let's just he let me play. Yeah, let yeah. me go play every day, and I got better every day. Oh, yeah. But I said, he you know, I thought I met you two, three years ago, man. Say, man, because I'm trying to have impact all the time. Cause, cause right now, uh, in the morning when I go walk, uh, we go to walk at the middle school. Yeah, and they had a seventh grade practicing in the morning. And this how I, this is, and you know, uh, this how I am. They had a little kid. This was our. This was one of the early practices. They practiced a day before, and then we saw them play about a couple of times. And then the third time they they practiced, they were they were running sprints. And it was a little kid named Willie. Yeah. Willie was out front, and the coaches said, "Come on, Willie!" And the, and the more they said, "Come on, Willie," mm-hmm. Willie would you could see he was, yeah. he just trying harder yeah. and harder. And Willie gave all he had till he gave out, and then he started running back there with the other boys. Yeah, but up until then, Willie was out front. And I told my homeboys, I said, say, man, we got something. Mm-hmm. I said, just cause it's work ethic. I said, and then. But he started letting those other boys pull him back. No, I mean, no, he was tired about it. Okay. Cause he let them five or six times. Okay, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 yards, way out in front of him. Yeah. He said, then, Coach, he was telling him, come on, Willie. Come on, Willie. And then. What would you have done? I'm telling the boys behind. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, no, and then I told him. Leave said, Willie alone. I said, Willie, no, but they were just saying that because Willie was setting the example. Yeah. I think they were saying. Like, saying, set the example, Willie. You run to make the rest. So then, and then I told my homeboys, I said, man, just see Willie do that. I said, Willie got something. Yeah, and man. Because he doing it with, that's, that's, that's and something about, and in, about, internal. Yeah, and then about Willie. two or three weeks later, Willie in the seventh grade, they they scrimmaged the eighth grade. I think they were out of school that that, that day. Yeah. In the, in the seventh grade, scrimmaged the eighth grade. Yeah. Man, if we were out there looking, and every time, time you heard, 
He was willing. willing. Yeah. I said, I told y'all Willie had something. Yeah. And then, then every time when I walked by, now they, the other day they was uh, practicing and they ran across the track where we walking at to get some water. Yeah. And I said, say, Willie, you got something, man. Yeah. I see you, Willie. Yeah. And then when I walked off, Willie was kind of, you could tell he had some character. Step. Yeah. So no, he was kind of like, you know, the boy, all the other boys kind of gathered into Willie. Yeah. And then when I walked three or four steps, Willie said, all right, all. <laughs> yeah. I said, and then yeah. now, every time I see Willie, he heard when you. I when I get close to him, I said, what's up, nephew Willie? What's up, all? Yeah. And Willie got something out. And then some guys be at their practice. And I said, say, man, what is Willie doing? He said, man, I got Willie on tape. Willie, get him in the business. Man. In the game. Yeah, in man. In the game. Hey. And Willie is not that big. He's kind of. You don't have to be that big. No, no. Like I was, no, I was telling Curtis a story about a kid to play for Costa Cana, me and Deuce. I was watching film with Deuce last night. Terrell. Oh, yeah. Scouting Terrell. Because he playing Terrell this week on uh, tomorrow. Okay. And number 19 for of course account. Free safety. I don't know who this kid is to this day. I don't know who he is. I have no idea. But you see him on film. Saw the boy. Hey, every time he showed up, the boy was 157 pounds soaking wet. Uh, uh, but when he, he showed bring, up to the party, he was bringing the bit. My gosh. Where is from? Costa Cana. Sure. Nobody else on the field popped to me, but that kid. That kid popped out. If somebody else sees that kid, they're going to see what I saw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, and, so, I, and, and I say, man, the gift of appreciation is a talent. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. To be able to appreciate and to be able to scout and to see something, somebody pop like that on the screen, that's a talent. Because typically, oh, of course, can ain't nothing. I ain't really. No, I'm watching this game, and that kid right there, if nobody, if the other 21 kids are horrible. That kid oh, yeah. right there got something. Oh, yeah. Now, I want to tell everybody, my people, that I told people, check us out, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to apologize to you guys. Yeah. Because I there ain't going to be a preacher. Oh, no. No, nah. nah, I'm just going to do that. No, nah, but. I ain't this, going to Denny parties. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <sorry laughs> hey, look, this is, a, uh, to me, though, you know what? This this thing, we went from sports to we went off the field. Hey, we on the you field. You know what, though? But it's good because we try to teach. Yeah, that's all it's about. I'm still gonna brag on this man. I'm 63. First time I met this, amen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. call me pop, and I, I still in my heart I appreciate when he told me. Yeah, I never heard that. Wow. Yeah. That, when I say humble, that humble means me I'm that. Just, that means I'm knocking myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're knocking yourself. I'm not. saying I don't want no yeah. humble players on I my team. Then I broke down. Right? <laughs> yeah. I said why? Yeah, why? why? Said, yeah, but yeah, because yeah. you had to. That's you know you had to roll yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. saying I don't want no, no humble, humble players player. on my team. I mean, yeah. humble yourself, like I say, to Jesus Christ, but yeah. to to other players or yeah. other people, no. But but you get no. I broke it down to you. I mean, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Humble was humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I was humble the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. The, way, the humble I was, they gonna take advantage of. Me. Absolutely, yeah. and that's that's yeah. the humble I was as well for yeah. a long yeah. time. Oh, but you you uh, hey, we, we, can, we got Nick. I'll, I'll come back on your show. Yeah, I've got to, Kurt. Oh yeah, we gotta got to, Kurt. One. We gotta talk about that player right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, as long as long as we talk about the hey, one in center field hey, at the same time. No, hey, yeah, I know I know exactly what you talking. Hey, ain't saying shit. Hey. I ain't never snitching on myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know exactly oh, what we oh, are. Hey. Oh, hey, man, you know what? Even though we're not talking about no subjects, yeah, this is man. one of my most enjoyable shows. Absolutely. We're talking about the job on. We're yeah. talking about. And you know what? Hey, I don't man. know if we're going to get to talk about it very much. No, no. Hey, we can get yeah. ringing about. Say, look, man, we're not going to talk. If we, so I, I do got to kick a couple shout outs. First of all, I got I I to gotta, I gotta say a couple things. This kid, Ashton Janty at Boise State. Is going insane, okay? I don't know oh. if y'all know too much about the running oh, back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, running okay. back for Boise State. I'm, I'm going to get past these real quick. We ain't going to go too deep. I ain't going to talk about I got a whole show here. We going to talk about two or three things real quick, real fast, because I want to get back, and I don't, I don't want to stop what we've been talking about. But this kid has got to be discussed. My kid, Ashton Jainty, he's out of Frisco, Texas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Went to Lone Star in Frisco, Texas, right? Yeah. That's Dallas, basically. North yeah. Dallas, okay. Yeah, North, uh, North the kid Field. currently has uh, 95 carries for 1,031 yards and uh, 60 or 16 touchdowns in five games. 
Every last one of the five games, he's got a touchdown over 60 yards. The guy didn't play running back until his senior year of high school. He was playing DB, D-line, and linebacker, depending on what his team needed. He played with uh, Mims. That's playing with uh, uh, Denver right now. And he's from what school? What Frisco what? Lone Star. Yeah, okay. He's my at Boise State now, right now. My grandson never played them, but, but uh, yeah. They, they beat him, right? Yeah, Lone Star beat him. Oh, okay. Uh, he was probably there. He was yeah, probably, no, 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 no. That was a few years back. That was no, a few years back. a couple years ago. But Ashton Jackson, y'all, got to look out for this kid, man. He's right now averaging, what, 10.9 yards a carry in five games. And he's played Oregon. Like, he's playing some good schools. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he's going hard right now. So, oh, yeah. shout out to that kid. Uh, he is a Heisman uh, candidate right now. Uh, shout out to that dude. I got a Taylor Swift, man. Golly. Uh, she just took over uh, most uh, the richest entertainer in the world. Yeah. 1. Yeah. 6, female Richard, entertainer. 1.6 billion. Yeah. Holy cow. She just surpassed Rihanna. I got to mention that for my, my Swifties out there. Hey, uh, Kelsey, going to put a ring on that dog. All right. Don't be like Brady and lose it to a jujitsu guy. But oh, gonna put a ring on that. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, and then no shit. Sh- I, I love you, Brady. She might not want that. She yeah. might not want her right. Hey, you're right. She might be like Cindy hey, Lop. It's gonna be all kinds of paperwork in that. Uh, she deal. Yeah. She Kelsey. might want to be like Cindy Lop. <laughs> be humble. Yeah. <laughs> don't be humble, dog. Hey, uh Taylor Swift don't want nobody humble, dog. You hey, know what I'm saying? <laughs> She no. wants she want you to be that tight end that you are. You got to be that see. dude. You got to be that dude. Hey, yeah. now, now, let me tell you this. Back to the humble. Yeah. I'm a real man. Yeah. And you said he was in the military. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Now, me, you know, they always do this. But I'm going to tell you, thanks for covering us. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I it, told you uncle's in there playing sports now. Uh, well, you told that one. <laughs> hey, look, you know, I'm trying to compliment him up on this, Jay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to keep it real, though. Say, 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 got, say this all the See, you, <laughs> you, you know, they screwed it up. No, no, even though I'm playing sports, I had a job now. I had a no, job. That's yeah. what they said. And they was hating on you. Hey, they were hating on you. You said, yeah. I had a job. But look, no, right, Jay, no. Jay, Jay ain't doing that. But look, I want to talk to you about something. We're going to race right now. Give me a boat. Two weeks. You ain't beating up. Hold up. In the combat boots. Yeah. <laughs> now listen. In the combat boots, but we got to be on the scene. And I'm getting ready to get my combat boots made. Move That's made. Wait with a the, minute. I, with I, the I wheels. Got this <laughs> you got them Henleys on? I'm going to have the wheels on. Oh, you know, yeah. You're going to have on some skates. You're going to yeah. be rolling. That's a... Yeah. Get up the steps, man. Hey, hey, hey this is something you love. We're going to talk about this. Cowboys, hey, I, I'm predicting the loss this weekend against the Lions. I I'm can't believe y'all got that dub. I'm picking the Cowboys. You say you're going to get it. Every week you're picking the Cowboys. Can you believe I'm me? I'm picking off the them show Lions. I'm picking, I'm picking them lines on this yeah, week. Can you bleak me off the show? You can't be. You can't be. You can't bleak me off the show. In access with the. <laughs> I'm going with the Cowboys. Say, man. Yeah. Say, y'all going to be surprised. Y'all going to wake up on them Cowboys, man. Say, they, they, they keep talking about, oh, the NF, AFC North. Jay already been Cleveland going to beat them. All that. Okay. All I can say, did they beat the Lions last year? So what you saying out of J.A. right now? I'm tempering my expectations. That, oh, I, was, tempering. I was a fan of you in Mississippi State. I'm tempering you ain't my there no more. You in my team now. My, I, I'm tempering so my to expectations see. too. But the Lions ain't. Hey. I'm going to tell you like this. It ain't nothing but about two or three teams that's really, really, really solid. Detroit that can one beat everybody. No, Detroit ain't that one. Yeah, they ain't solid. Not that can be anybody in, on any given Sunday. I think you they ain't can, got nothing about two teams or three teams that can beat anybody on any given Sunday. Because on any given Sunday, anybody can beat anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Except yeah. almost, really, you might just have one. And that, 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 that brings me over to the commanders. No, no, yeah. hold up. Okay. You done taught me something today, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Don't be humble. And I ain't gonna be humble. Them commanders is ready. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> good okay. luck. Okay. Hey, good Jayden, luck. hey okay. That, that's a that's a so, matchup this weekend. So what you Jaden Daniels versus come on, come on, come on, Lamar Jackson. The commanders versus the Ravens yeah. is gonna be a great game. And this and, guy and you right know here what? I'm picking man. the commanders to win see, the game. See, see. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this. this I ain't even here. know I ain't even know Lamar. I'm realistic though, I, I ain't even know Lamar Jackson no guy, but I'm finna say this. Jane Daniels is not in Lamar Jackson category. 
He played five games. Lamar Jackson played six years. But you compare Lamar to that. Dak all the time. James Daniels is better than Dak. Let James Daniels win 12 games four years in a row. Oh, no. Let James Daniels he, do that. James Daniels is 4-1, Dak is 3-2. We ain't talking about Dak. No. James let James Daniels. James Daniels let James Daniels. Jake Jay Daniels to play six and, games. And, and not Jay even by Daniels, my standard. Jake Daniels ain't better than nobody. The NFL, yet. the NFL has yeah, come yeah. out and said that Jake Daniels dudes, right? is the number one quarterback in the NFC. You know, all, after all, six that's games. That's what it is. Four after eight. six games. Five, he four, better than five games. Get it, get it, after, one. after five hey, games, all, he better than Jalen Harris. He better than everybody in the NFL. Come after in. five Go games, come they got him as the number one quarterback Sorry. in the NFC, look, and, I, and I agree with him. Go, Commander. Jaden Daniels is that is that dude. After five Period. games, he yes. better than everybody. Right. Yes, he better than Brock. He ain't even been no. I, why, I can't you know why? You know why? He ain't he ain't depending on sixty five yard field goals. He's scoring touchdowns. He's hitting receivers downfield. Okay. He's getting the ball out on okay. time. The boy is right here. under control. If he's the best way. quarterback in the NFC, I will bet anybody in the world right now. That he is not going to the Super Bowl. You know who they said the best quarterback in the NFC? I bet he ain't going to the Super Bowl. I ain't betting you that. You know who number one? I, hey, I put that on. I, oh. Hey, I told you. I, I said, told you. I'm going to put money on that. I on said. On, on the commanders going to the bowl. No. From the NFC. I want to put money on that. No. Me and you. Me and you. Let's we do got it. something. Oh, we got something. 50. 50. 50. 100. 150. Commanders to the Super As long as Jane Day stay healthy. 10 10? Huh? The day of 10 10? Because this is what I do know. One man. Okay, y'all bet that. Yeah, I'm a commander fan. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm like saying we're two years away. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Super Bowl. Well, no, I don't. I don't. This I don't year. Want, listen, I don't want no cowboy fan to jump the ship. I ain't jumping six, ship. It's six you games. Did. Wait a minute. Look, I jumped ship when Dak sat in that four year agreement. Had nothing to do with Jaden Daniels. You right. jumped the ship. Wait a minute. I don't want to talk about They're gonna play my team, Kansas City. They're gonna play my team, Kansas City in Super Bowl. Call you. Come here. So you call me. Talking like yeah. First off, first off, the commanders not even gonna win the NFC East. Okay. Let me tell you something. 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 Let me tell yeah. Oh, hey, oh, I tell you what. Why couldn't I get a cigar? I, 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 now I tell you what we're gonna do. Oh, we already shot. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. A cigar, but we're gonna do it at the at the at the, at the smoking jacket oh, and the one that Lou now got now it. got to bring a bottle and by the other cigar. I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, I ain't got no problem. Well, I ain't gonna say nothing. Out hey, there. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna be there watching watching my commanders on the way to the Super Bowl. Oh, you know what? I'm <laughs> sorry. No, the whole thing. You a commander fan in there? Hey, no. Hey, I'm a Jay Daniels no, fan, though. No. First thing, first Never. thing, first thing, you must he, forget. I, I know you, what I see. You must forget who that coach is. Uh, he been to Super Bowl. He was in the Super Bowl before the Cowboys. Last time Cowboys was there, he about? lost to Brady. Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn. I like Dan Quinn. You know what? I like Dan Quinn. I got like two, three cigars now. As, lo as long as he ain't playing, I give you two points. As long as he ain't playing against Shanahan, we don't want no points because they're both in the pros. As long as he ain't playing against Shanahan, he good. Hey, okay. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the talent they got up there. Plus him, like I, I'm a what damn fan. What time they got? What time they got? That D line is serious. Them Alabama boys, McCl McLaurin up there. Okay. They got uh, Austin Eckler up there. Okay. Jaden Daniels up there. They got plenty of talent Ooh. up there. What's his name? I don't, yeah, that. The six, after, <laughs> they brought, after six Ooh. games, after six games, they go in the Super Bowl. Come on. Okay. Hey, I'm just Come saying. On. I'm telling all you what I, I all see. All I'm saying like this. What I think. When, when the 49ers oh, yeah. we, get, we, uh, we, get we, Christian McCaffrey, all they play them back, they just. So you a Cowboy fan or oh, 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 49 oh, oh, I can't mess with 49 But I'm just saying, I ain't never this whole thing. Oh, I ain't no 49ers fan, but I'm real as that. That the commanders ain't going. I can't believe Robert really Sala lost over. his job like that. Who was that? Sala with the Jets. Oh, yeah. That defense oh. was Sala, but he ain't no coordinator. You off the baseball program? No. Nah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, hey. it's all, I just, just got to call out a couple things. Can you edit A couple this? things. You know, and, and the last thing, so we got um, 
Uh, Bitter Bev taking on Bivol this weekend. Y'all got to check that fight out. Probably going to have a watch party. We will not be showing it. Oh, I'm going out of town this weekend. Yeah, you're going to grab I'll, I'll be in Colorado yeah, and Colorado K Colorado State. So, so drop out. And this is the crazy thing. I can't even go live on YouTube from Colorado K State because of these dudes. But I'm still going to get the footage and I'm going to post the video. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, post it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to post it. I'm a, yeah, I'm going to post, post it. I'm post it. So I will be at Colorado K State this weekend. Shout out to my. To Pretty Tony, my brother. That's my offensive guard right there. You know, I'm going I'm to holler at Warren Sapp. I'm going to get some good footage for the people, man. It's going to be great. Uh, and then uh, Sith Marshall stepped down. I made a joke. I was like, has this got anything to do with Diddy? Possibly, because Diddy designed our uniforms like four or five years ago. Remember we had the green uniform? Diddy did them. I don't know. What Just, green uniform? Whatever. Who, who has the green uniform? Uh, the Mavericks. Oh. Oh, did it, did that? Did it design some uniforms? It's probably like seven, eight years ago because Dirk was still nah, playing. Don't, don't ever wear them again. Please hey, don't. No, nah, they're not wearing them bad boys. I'm just saying. Since Marshall stepped down, like, shout out Since Marshall, man, African American woman, CEO for the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, yeah. Uh, stepping out of CEO position. I'm just. Not, I, She's a she's a stand up lady. Oh yeah, like I got she's got nothing to do with the Diddy thing. Hopefully. Oh no 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 but no, no, no. She no. you know shout out no, Seth Marshall. No, no, You've no. been amazing for us, man. Got to shout that out. Y'all check out that that fight this weekend. And uh, also you know hey we got to do ring the bell man because Jim Brown is one of the people that I absolutely Jim Don't Brown about. Jim Brown like no I I have done a lot of study on Jim Brown. But, but to hear you, today. yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's some things you're gonna say today that I know nothing about, so we gotta get to ring the bell. But I'm gonna, I'm what you about to say though? On, on, um, uh, I don't know what you're talking about when you said ring the bell, but Louis yeah. Tia. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Louis Tia. Oh, yeah, May, yeah, I'm May, MLB, Louis Tia. Yeah. Nah, right, Hey, hey. Hell of a picture, man. Who did he, he play with? Because I don't want to say. I remember as Boston. Yeah, Boston Red He used to do that movie. Turn like that. Yeah, big back second he throw. Yeah, yeah, man. That's so, school, man. yeah, oh, man. Yeah, man. He, he, don't know nothing about that. He's a Latin guy, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Louis Tia was. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the. I ain't gonna say one of the first, but he was one what? of the yeah. one more, more, yeah. most popular. He yeah. was right after. Uh, what's the guy with uh with the big red machine? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, you ain't talking about P. Rowe. No, no, that was Latin. The Latin guy. That was with the big uh, Cal, 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 with a C. Uh, Cal, 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 Conception. Conception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was in there. He was in there. So, no, no, that one. My guy, Big Red Machine, was Tony Perez. Oh, man. Hey, 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 Pete Rose. Hey, Pete Rose. 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 Yeah, them were, them were my oh, guy. Right. Shout out Curtis yeah. Wilkinson. Even though I got on the Bo Jackson, I'm wearing the KC for Curtis today. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought you wore it because I played for the That's room. what I'm saying. I'm wearing it for you. I'm a, I'm but I don't have a, 19 on my I'm back. A, it's a, it's a, Bo I'm Jackson jersey. I'm a Bobby Witt guy. Yeah. Bobby Witt, yeah. I remember and, Bobby uh, Witt. I played with his dad, but his, his son is with I'm pulling for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bobby Witt, man. Shout out Bobby Witt. Shout out Bobby Witt Jr., man. Great hey, do what it do, man. Great kid. Hey, the one time I went to see you play for Collierville against L.D. Bell, you didn't even play, bro. You just chilled out that day, and I was so disappointed, yeah. dog. Great kid. I was so disappointed, man. Yeah, but, you know, I'm so, so good to see you doing what you're doing right now. But right now, we about to jump over. You know, y'all, we had a lot to talk about, but, man, this, this show has been so dynamic for yeah. me. I hope y'all have taken a lot from this and got to learn a little bit of just about professional sports, baseball, Curtis, man. His life, the things he went through, uh, through management with, you know, dealing with different managers, players that he's played with, man. Like, Curtis is, if he's not in the Rangers Hall of Fame here in the next five to ten years, I would be quite surprised. Like, just straight up, man. Because he's that dude. If you know baseball, you know who Silky Wilkie is, yeah, man. Yeah, no, man. You got you to gotta get your roses before you go, man. I'm tired of this uh, Buck O'Neill, P. Rose type stuff. And ain't Pete ain't in yet, but they're going to get him in now that he's gone. Watch. Yeah, hey, and, and, and you know what? Like, I don't even, like, P. Rose deserves to be celebrated, but that, yeah, that, that's that's a conversation that needs to be had, man. I'm tired of these guys doing this mess, man, over yeah, okay. not Not over what's uh, taking place on the field, but what's taking place in their personal lives, and they don't like them for whatever reason. But anyways, man, we're going to get to Ring the Bell. This is a segment. So, Kurt, you don't know about Ring the Bell? This is a perfect time for me to give a segue. Yeah, so yeah. we're about to hit this Ring the Bell real quick, man, on Jim Brown, man. This is someone that, you know, I respect great, like, have all the respect for uh, in, in, in football. Uh, I've watched so many NFL films on Jim Brown, man. And uh, please, 
Uh, tune in right now. I'm about to teach you something if you ain't know about it already. So what's going yeah. down with Jim Brown, huh? Say, man, this is the old thing right here, J.A. Yeah. You said you know about Jim Brown on football. Uh, you a little bit, a little bit. No, no. Well, we ring the bell on an older player and try to get the new generation to we, understand we, that- We bridge the gap. That, that, that they not the first ones that could play. They're not the first one that was superior athletes. And we just They're educating. Not, yeah, educating just, just, just educating. Just books. sharing information. That's what it, uh, Ring the Bell is about. And we're going to ring the bell right now. That's with Joe beautiful Ryan. because that's going to carry the show. Yeah, yeah. Bigger than that. Oh, it's, it's beautiful, man. We've yeah, talked yeah. about Larry Bird. We talked uh, about Bob McAdoo. Will Chamberlain. Uh, uh, Silk Wilkes. Will Chamberlain. Elton Bill Bell. Russell. Yeah. Barry, uh, yeah. Rick Barry. Elton uh, yeah, we didn't get to him. We got to, well, next we got to, his, we got to his teammate, Jerry West. Yeah, he won the bet. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to ring the bell on Jim Brown. I'm going to go over his football, some of his football accomplishments first. I can't go over all of his accomplishments because he has so many. Yeah. But in the NFL, first off, Jim Brown was drafted in 56. His rookie year was 57. Yeah. And he played nine years. And uh, Jim Brown played 118 games. He averaged 122 yards per game. Wow. In 118 he, games? Yes, he averaged God, 122 no. yards per game. He, he he has 106 touchdowns. In 118 games? So yes. Wow. He has 12,312 yards rushing. He has 14,811 yards total. So that means he had uh, some other yards, two over 2,000 yards received. Yeah. And uh, like I say, he played nine years. And uh, 1963, he rushed for 1,863 yards with a 6.4 average. Jeez. You know, and so, 19... so that defenses hate hitting guys like that. Oh, yeah, because Jim Brown was six. Well, that, that was less games, too. Right? Yeah, yeah uh, uh, 14, 14 mm-hmm. back then. Jim Brown was uh, 6 2 6 3 you know, 6 2 and a half, 6 3. 235 pounds, and they wasn't running the 40 back then. But uh, I'm going to guesstimate that Jim Brown at least ran a 4 4 4 5. Wow. You know, he, he, he wasn't slow. Yeah. And, and you, you'll find this out uh, later on when I talk about some more stuff about Jim Brown. And then in uh, 1965 is the year he retired from yeah. the NFL. Yeah. He led the league in rushing, the year in which it was after nine years. He got dra- drafted in 50. Well, 57 was a rookie year, 57, 58. 59, 60, 64, 62, 63, 64, 65 was the last year. Wow. He led the league in rushing with 1,544 yards with a 6.1 average his last year. I got, I got you right back up. Keep yeah. going, though. I, yeah, I'm and, you. Uh, I got you so, right here. So, you know, Jim Brown was that dude in, in football. Now, you know, I, I told you all his accomplishments by his touchdowns, his average, and for his career, he averaged 5.2 yards per carry, which is the highest with the guys that got enough carries. Jim Brown has the highest yards per carry average in the NFL history for running backs. Barry Sanders is number two with five. Jim Brown is number one with 5.2. And then now I'm going to switch over to some of the other stuff. This is a this is the things that uh, a lot of people don't know about Jim Brown. Jim Brown was a in college not high school, Jim Brown was a four-sport athlete. Four. So when you talk to me about, oh, this guy played two sports, or this guy played both both sides of the ball, and all that, you know, I'm not trying to downplay these guys, but I don't know the history of sports. Mm-hmm. Jim Brown, Jim Brown, you know, back in the day, they don't say this anymore, but Jim Brown, uh, they used to have what they call letters, and you had to play so many quarters in football to letter, you had to play so many quarters in basketball to letter. Jim Brown letter, you had to run in so many track meets to letter. Jim Brown had 10 letters in four different sports. In, in, in college, not high school, in college. And Jim Brown uh, lettered in football, basketball, track and field, and lacrosse. Lacrosse. And lacrosse. Jim Brown was an All-American lacrosse player. And I don't know if any of y'all know, I know you know, Dick Shep. And he got a son named Jeremy Shep. 
These are sports reporters. And Big Shout color covered lacrosse from the 40s until he died. He didn't die. Big Shell probably died in the early 2000s or something like that. And went to the day he died, after covering lacrosse for 40 or 50 years, he said that Jim Brown was the best lacrosse player he ever saw in his life. Never heard of him. We never, I never knew Jim Brown. Jim Brown played lacrosse. So Jim Brown played Football, he was an all-American football player. He was an all-American lacrosse player. <laughs> and one, one year, he averaged 12 points per game on Syracuse basketball team. Yeah. And then, how he led it in track was that. That's crazy. He, no he, didn't, that. He, didn't, he didn't run track all the time. But when it's when the track team needed him, if it was a time that he wasn't playing football, basketball, or uh, all across, yeah. the track team would go get him and he would run on the four by four relay. Wow. Why the four by one relay? And he ran under ten seconds in the hundred yard bag in the fifties on Holy dirt. Holy cow. So Jim Brown is under, another under one of these guys that make Uncle yeah. hard. Yeah. Hard to impress, yeah, because of all the things that I've saw in the past. The when yeah. I see these young guys, it's it's not that I'm knocking them, but I'm saying, man, I I mean, I mean you saw then, Jim Brown. I mean, when I see these guys, and and then I didn't necessarily see all of this stuff, but, but I you know I read it in the yeah. paper, and, and then I did the research, and I'm saying, when well, you got a four star athlete at That's the crazy. University of Syracuse, yeah, not I mean I'm. I'm I'm Still a Big even, Ten or uh, ACC a Big Ten right I'm now. I'm not even trying to be funny. You are not. I mean, you are You ain't that Pablo. You ain't yeah. that. You ain't that preview. I'm not knocking yeah. no school. Yeah. But you're in the highest level of competition, and you are starting in poor sport. Not only starting. In an era where you're really not starring. even accepted. You are starring. Yeah. In poor sport. And, and, and when you say he averaged 12 points on the basketball team in the 50s, yeah. That's like averaging 25 or 30. Because they passing yeah. that bad boy yeah. shooting at the last and second. They, and, and they're not, and it's, and they, and they not scoring. Oh, it wasn't 50, a shot clock back yeah. then, was it? wasn't a shot clock, and they weren't scoring for 50 or 60 points. Yeah. And you average 12. That's a quarter of the points. So, yeah, so so Jim Brown was a superior athlete, not just in football, not just in lacrosse, but also basketball and the track and field. So was, so, was Syracuse getting paid? No one way out here. No one way out here. No, I'm just saying. Everything was under the table. Everything went right. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, in four different sports. Jim Brown absolutely. People yeah. were coming to watch Jim Brown in four oh, different absolutely. sports. Absolutely. And then this is the whole thing. In uh, in football, Jim Brown at the University of Syracuse, Jim Brown has actually kicked off and punted. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. He's a kid that was a running back in the same backfield. Point. They had a movie on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? talking about? No, no, for Syracuse. Oh, for Syracuse. Uh, that drafted by Cleveland Brown. Uh, 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 you talking about uh, uh, Floyd Little? Was it Floyd yeah. Little? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. They made no, you uh, he was He was younger. No, he, he was for the Baltimore Colts. Uh, yeah, he get he got drafted by Washington. Washington has turned him down. And then he... He ended up dying early, 23 years old. There's a movie. It's a guy named, oh, my God. I can't think of his name, but I know you're talking but, uh, about. Yeah, he, he, he yeah, uh, so, went to Syracuse. Yeah, so all these guys yeah. that that we ring the bell on, man, most of them, but not all of them, but some of them are superior athletes. Yeah. And the ones that we ring, if they're not superior athletes, they were superior three, what they did. They were superior in the sport that they played. Yeah. And, you know, and for, you know, a lot of times these younger guys say, oh, well, they couldn't play back then. Yeah. I'd be like, what? How do you know? You heard. But when you go back, because I seen you a film on Ralph Sampson. Yeah. Did you, did you look yeah. at him? Yeah. Could Ralph Sampson handle the ball? Yeah. Could he shoot? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, he was you. Wimby back he in the 80s. Virginia. Virginia. He was Wimby yeah, he before was Wimby. Wimby. He was Virginia. 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 Straight yeah, up. Yeah. 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 You know, so so all of these young guys that think that, and like I try to tell people, I try to get these young guys to understand, the, the human body has to change. Yeah. Training has changed. Yeah. Equipment has changed. Yeah. Science has changed. But not the human body. Man, and, and I just got to bring this thing full circle real quick to to modern day. 
right? And this this nepotism conversation that we've been getting from Bronny and, and Ron James. Can you run that back? That word you just said. Nepotism. Right? I mean, I, we, we, we call it we call it uh, lineage, right? Nepotism. But the nepotism conversation. I call it the American way. That's what I call it. Yeah, so twice during this conversation, I've heard two different names that we've never brought up. And it's not, I need y'all to get off Bonnie James. Because the first uh, case of it is when you were talking about Hal McCray. I ain't saying about Bonnie James. No, 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 no. But you said something about Hal McCray. Hal McCray. Who was his son? Right. Did he play for the Kansas City Royals? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And could play. And could play. And, and could play. And, and in my career. Yeah. <laughs> Brian McCray did? Uh, yeah, we had a collision in the center. Oh, is that what happened to your ankle? Yeah, yeah, we went at it. We I didn't know that. It's just an accident. Oh, wow. wow. It's just an accident. Hell, yeah. McCray, did he play? What did Craig, he, play? He, was a, he was a coach. He, he was, was a coach for Kansas City. He played for Kansas City. DH and uh, whatever. Oh, okay. I feel, but yeah. Craig was good. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know, know, know that. Hell, McCray and... Yeah. and uh, what's Brian McCray. McCray. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, the daddy. I'm talking about Hal McCray. How was it? How was the daddy? Brian is the son. Yeah, what's the third baseman? George Brett. They, you know, you, I know what you're going to have, man. They had a conflict on who going to win the bad time. Yeah, absolutely. They both were on the same team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hal McCray and Brian and yeah, uh, George, no, Brett? George Brett? Yeah, yeah George For Brett. For real? Yeah. yeah. They were going for the yeah. bad time. Yeah. And, uh, but, and I want you to tell me who won. You tell me who won. I'm sure it was George. George. Oh, okay, thank but you. But why? Well, how, I, 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 well that, that's what I heard that. that Somebody let the ball drop or something. Oh, but I don't know. My God. Hey, 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 okay. Let we got, we got more to talk about. Oh, yeah. We know why he won. We ain't going to say it on the show. Yeah, and, yeah. and the second, yeah. yeah. And the First second off, instance. He's not. Curtis not going to say it on the show. I might, but he not. Yeah. <laughs> and the second instance is Big Shep. And, uh, and uh, Jeremy Shep. Jeremy Shep. Yeah. And that's, a, that's not sports. That's, that, that's they're covering sports. sports. Okay. That's a different vertical. Outside of sports. Okay, how about George Bush and George Bush? No, no, I'm just talking about this, things that have come up during this show right now. Yeah. But I'm just talking about nepotism. nepotism. So, so don't talk to me about Brian. I don't want to hear nothing else about Brian. Man, I got I that is the you. history I of hear, sports. I don't want to hear about you Pass me by that I meant to bring up when we was talking about baseball. What was that? You know, Charlie Pryor. Yeah. The oh, singer, country music mind. singer. Friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Charles Brock can play. Hey, friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. What did start? I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. Charlie Pride. Charlie black, Pride. black country music so singer. So when I was coaching the Coral Cats, me and Jeff Russell, mm -hmm. my pitch coach, we, we playing in the championship. Jeff Russell made the call. He said, okay, let's get Charlie Pride to come sing the hell. Yeah. You know what Charlie Pride said? As long as I can take bad. Wow. So, so yeah. my, my story is, he used to be in spring training with the Rangers. No, I was just yeah. going to say that. So he went to spring training. Always. Yeah, so 83 was, 83 was my first Major League Spring Train. Yeah. I was so six look, months old. No, no. So, 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 so I knew I had no chance to make the team. Yeah. But I really knew it. Man, Charlie Pryor was playing the game. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. Charlie Pryor, he played. I said, you no, know, I know I won't make the team. Yeah. He had more at-bats than I did. Wow. And they had no you know, plans. He he said, I had more hits than you, too. I said, <laughs> well, you had more opportunity. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Charlie's, a, Charlie's a singer. He ain't going to play. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but, but I, but I remember that. Him Because yeah. I was going to say something. I was going to say, Charlie Bryant went to spring training. with some, All the time. Matter of fact, major. every year for four or five years. And he was the time. For real. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, he, and he can play decent. He does it. He, hey, hey, look, Charlie. I know country same thing. I'll play me. I mean, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. no, no. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey Curtis. Look, you know what he I'm got saying? more opportunities to. I said he was decent. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say he was a pro player. Oh, yeah. I said, that means but, he's a decent yeah, as a yeah. lower man, level. Or sitting there listening to his stories and stuff. Oh, yeah. But, you know, um, he was a he was a old on the Rangers. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So what yeah, 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 yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I did not know that. Man, look, man. He was this, right way, way for a hit, so I all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah. always in this. Yeah. Hey, this he nigga leagues too. Hey, this has been a very different, very different show. Noonish, man. But I I this has been one of my favorite episodes ever. What's oh, up? Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, I believe you. Well, 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 I'm being that serious. 
We it's been have, one of my favorite episodes ever, man. Yeah, we ain't like, gonna go we ain't gonna do nothing, man. Hey, man real conversation, man. Real conversation. Yeah. I want to. Can people. I do my final speech? Yeah. Hey, hey guys, listen up. People that I hit last night that watch this show, you know, I got convinced to say stuff that I didn't want to say. Okay, guys. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't that. It's this. <laughs> hey, what no, you I saying? It, it ain't the. No, I said. <laughs> No, yeah, no. Hey, no what, what, are you, what are you saying? I said, I want it, I want it bad. Yeah, this is what he's saying. <laughs> and then, he said, that's part true, sir, right there. Hey, hey, that's hey, part true, sir. This is hey. beautiful, though. Oh, yeah. Because you, I, I'm telling you, I still ain't going to forget. You taught me something. Yeah. Okay, but man, you told me something. But now, when I want it, I want it bad. Yeah. When I can't get it, it makes me mad. Yeah. When I get it, it makes me free. What is it though? It's not what you think. It's whiskey. Yes, sir. Oh. Hey. hey, and on that, hey. man, on that note. That was a good toast right there. On and that I note, say, man. Can I say one thing? Yes, sir. Okay. If y'all uh, look at my face, Peter, my case, if you got a little drink, give me a taste. Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. Say, 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 say. Hey. That hey. one thing. <laughs> I keep telling y'all, when you talk talking that sugar honey ice tea, yeah. boy, I talk up on the top shelf. I'm, I'm not the goat. I'm not the goat to yeah. sugar, yeah. but I'm on the top shelf. Yeah, yeah. And oh, with that being said, said, man, we are gonna see y'all next week sometime around. I know this curve. Duck swallow the pond. Yeah, duck swallow the pond. Yeah. Never lose a feather. Yeah. If I lose my true love, I drink this forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, Wait. Hey. I knew you coming. Uh, no, I ain't going to come back. Because we'll go all day. Yeah. 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 Hey, no. That's why I'm giving you the courtesy. Yeah. 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 Because if I come back, it's going to go on and on and on. Okay, okay. To the break of dawn. So we going to stop right now. Yeah, yeah, man. This has been one of my favorite shows. Uh, and, I, hey, man, I want to tell you that I enjoyed meeting you, man. And and I, and I this is what I want the people to know. If you ever see Curtis, he's easy to talk to. The realest, man. Certain, you know, there's certain people that I have, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the whole thing. They are uh, arrogance yeah. exceed their talent. I'm going to yeah, say yeah, it like that. Yeah, yeah. You need, to, you need to flip that strip. Since you told my humble... I ain't easy to talk to no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you still hey, need to talk to no, Hey, Curtis said you're going to learn shit yeah, today yeah, now. Yeah, From yeah. now on, moving forward. No, hey, you better watch yeah. watch where you no, when, no. when you're in Curtis' path. You, hey, he might burn you no, now, though. No, no. Now, Kurt, one of the greatest men I ever met in my life right here, man. Pleasure to know you, Curtis, man. Absolutely excited to have you on the show today. And uh, appreciate you coming, man. I hope you enjoyed this as much as as we yeah, enjoyed much it, as man. Much, much as we did, man. Absolutely, this was a great man. show. Just it, talking it, about sports within and without life, any man. specific topics. Absolutely, we kept on going. Hey, uh, kept, kept it, uh, keep the party rolling. Hey, the only thing, hey, JA gotta go get a little. You gotta go little, get a little, little man. man. But yeah, man. Little, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, man. We will see y'all next week sometime around noon. It's Kurt. Thank you again for joining yeah, us, bro. Really, but we'll see y'all let yeah, down, man. Episode, yeah. Peace. Just Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech.